AI image generation. There are so many ideas out there, just too many to choose from. If you are into design and looking for inspiration, you found the place. Let's start a series of inspirational ideas for image generation. The first one, biomimicry. Sneak peek, it looks cool, but let's add more variables. Does it have any implication for real design inspiration and workflow? Can AI-generated images and biomimicry in real design work together? But first things first. Hello there! There was a small break in the channel. If you've been one of the subscribers waiting for this awakening, I am so excited that you are here. Thank you so much. Chapter 1. Biomimicry. Before we apply it, let's understand what the word actually means. The terminology comes from different sources. The word biomimetics was coined in 1950s by Otto Schmidt in an attempt to produce a device that mimicked the electrical activity of a nerve. Nevertheless, the idea was popularized and clarified not until 1997 in the book Biomimicry, Innovation Inspired by Nature. What's happening now in this field called biomimicry is that people are beginning to remember that organisms are doing things very similar to what we need to do. But in fact, they're doing them in a way that have allowed them to live gracefully on this planet for billions of years. Biomimicry has three essential elements. Emulates, meaning learn and replicate. It touches forms, but also natural processes and ecosystems. Assess, understand the inner workings of life and support it. Reconnect. We are a part of nature and should see ourselves as such. Simple, right? <laughs> but there is one important disclaimer. It's important to realize that looking like nature is not a reliable indicator of biomimetic design, because a proper biomimicry might or might not look anything like the organisms that inspired it. Rather, the important indicator is function. Now we see that a popular internet biomimetic look of design is a visual passing to what it should be. It actually falls into a different category of biomimetic design biomorphism. Another type is bioutilization, which refers to the literal use of parts of nature. When we are in the topic of all the confusing bioterms, we should also mention biophilia, which means love of nature. It refers to the social movement of bringing all that is natural to everyday life. So now our personal prompt dictionaries grew with like five new items. Let's use it. Chapter 2. Prompt Engineering. This will be a really quick intro into AI image generation. Feel free to jump ahead if you already know it. AI image generation refers to text-to-image or pix-to-pix models that aim to produce visual content. Luckily, nowadays you don't need any coding abilities to use it. There are tools like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion and Dali 2 that you can learn in a few minutes. Register on Discord, register on the Midjourney webpage, choose a plan, you will be added to the Discord channel, either free public one or paid private one, write slash imagine anything literally anything, enter. Upscale or create variations of the ones you like the most. Congrats, you are now the artificial intelligence user. Prompt engineering refers to the creation of prompts. There's a discussion whether the term is too exaggerated, as even a chimpanzee bumping kid's head on a keyboard and writing random letters would make it work somehow or if it is a difficult craft, as some people get better and more realistic results just by mastering it. Nevertheless, the universal rule states, the choice of words matters, really. Synonymous various combinations and even typos can provide different results. The models are trained on enormous databases of image description pairs. Each tool has a different database, so the results for the same prompts may vary. The best way to grasp a feel for each tool is to prompt it many, many times with various words. At last, we can get to the fun part. Experiment. We will test all of the concepts we learned as prompts and see if they make any sense in visual and logical terms. For reference, I will be using mostly Majority version 4 with the base prompt as such. Biomimicry, our titular prompt. Does it work? Yeah, yes, it does. The prompt is poking the machine to generate more fluid, cellular, interesting ideas. Compared to the control sample, they are intriguing and inspiring, at least for me. 
But does it make logical sense? Well, no. At least not in the terms of definition. AI image generation is based on visual and linguistic content, not on a scientific understanding of the process. In contrast, biomimicry is about solution finding, not a visual look, so image generation is not really tailored to it. Okay, there is the slight chance that when something looks like a natural phenomenon, it will also work like it. An example can be columns inspired by trees, as the structural load can be distributed in beams like in branches, but it is usually not as simple. Termites are known for their ability to regulate temperature in their mounds, and architects have been inspired by this natural phenomenon to design more energy-efficient buildings. The Eastgate Center is a famous example of biomimicry in architecture. The building was designed to be naturally ventilated, using the same principles as thermite mounts, to regulate temperature and reduce energy consumption. Yet, does it look like a thermite mount? No. Asking image generation for a solution would be assuming that the scientific meaning of it could be fitted into an image. If we ask for mid-journey to deal with a building in a hot climate, it will give us this, which would look kinda cool on the wall. I also checked stable diffusion, as you can see, but I cannot imagine using it as an actual solution finding. Theoretically, AI could show you a building looking like a thermite mount, and this would be your eureka moment. But this would require a lot of previous knowledge about termites, and the same eureka effect could be achieved by any other form of thinking out of the box. Nevertheless, we should not close the topic with Oh, it was obvious! And the assumption that AI will not be helpful in biomimetic solution finding. This task could be more suitable for linguistic models. I have tested this with ChatGPT and I'm positively shocked. You can define your problem and ask it for something similar in the natural world. It is not the topic of this video, but you know, wow. Biomorphism is the true friend of AI image generation. Here are some prompt ideas. Biomorphism can provide a range of inspirations in a breathtakingly short time, making it exceptionally useful for conceptual stages. If you are stuck in your workflow and you aim to create a visually appealing design, go for it. Nevertheless, there is even more than just a pretty effect. Biomorphism is one of the rules of biophilic design and is claimed to reduce stress and enhance concentration. Therefore, such inspirations can bring a significant advancements in design. Biotilization is not really useful for now in this topic, mostly because you have to know what you are looking for to prompt it. Of course, you could prompt biotilization in design, and this could be fun or not, as you can see, my journey does not recognize it. Still, it is an amazingly small chance that it will provide you with a living being that solves the problems of your specific real design. If you are interested in other prompts that I use, more in terms of visual effects, please visit the link in the description. In summary, Biomimicry. Cool, but it is not really biomimicry as it does not solve problems. Biomorphism and biophilic design. Yes, definitely, definitely yes. Biotilization. Nah. Okay, just a side note. Uh, most part of this script was written with Notion AI. Okay, uh, of course I reviewed it many times, but still, if you're interested in this process of writing text, using Notion AI or any AI, please let me know and I will do a video about it. I hope this video has inspired you to use biomimicry and AI image generation in your design work. It's inspirational, thank you. Thank you for watching. See you!